Hello, I'm Alan Lay in Steamboat Springs. According to a press release issued earlier this week from the U.S. Forest Service Department of Agriculture, the Hans Peak Bears Ears Ranger District has released an environmental assessment finding of no significant impact and decision notice for the Bears Ears Fuels Reduction and Restoration Project in Route and Moffat counties. Specifically, the decision addresses improvements to forest health and provides for human safety by treating a broad range of landscapes on up to 57,000 acres. Proposed project locations are located on the Route National Forest in the Elkhead Mountain Range. A few of the project purposes include to reduce wildlife wildfire risk to the communities of Wilbur's Ranch, Hitch Mountain, and Quaker Mountain, reduce wildfire effects, including sedimentation increases to the City of Craig water supply, Elkhead Reservoir, enhance efforts to protect watersheds and address threats to forest and rangeland health, including catastrophic wildfire, across the landscape, and to utilize a collaborative process of planning, prioritizing, implementing hazardous fuel reduction projects and wetland upland restoration projects. You may have noticed some haze in the area the past few days. How could you not, right? We often wonder if there's a fire nearby that we need to be aware of or take action against. Well, the current haze is from 33 different wildfires burning millions of acres in the Pacific Northwest states of California, Idaho, Montana, Oregon, and Washington, along with Canada. As more smoke enters the state, it is advised to limit time outdoors, especially for those with heart disease, respiratory illnesses, the very young, and the elderly. If visibility is reduced to less than five miles, the levels are unhealthy. Keep an eye out for air quality alerts or check real-time levels at purpleair.com. One of the many events that makes Steamboat Steamboat, the Yampa Valley Balloon Festival will see balloons take flight on July 26th through the 28th. The balloons will launch from the southeast side of town from Bald Eagle Lake, although no spectators are allowed on the field. The balloons are expected to launch as early as 6 a.m., so be sure to get to your viewing area in advance, and hopefully some of this haze will have cleared out. And if you can't make the Yampa Valley Balloon Festival, don't worry. The Moffat County Balloon Festival is only one week later, on August 2nd through the 4th, at the Loudy Simpson Park in Craig. Again, the balloons will take flight very early, weather permitting, of course, but they'll have a whole host of activities planned including live music with apple pie and a guy during Friday morning's launch, and then music all day starting at noon on Saturday. They'll also have a car show, bouncy houses, food trucks, and a beer garden. You can get all the info at mcballoonfestival.com. For balloon enthusiasts, it's going to be a great couple of weekends here, right here in the Yampa Valley. And finally, we have two big free concerts for you on Friday the 26th at the Steamboat Resort Gondola Stage, Pink Talking Fish who is a hybrid tribute fusion act that takes the music from three of the world's most beloved bands, Pink Floyd, The Talking Heads, and Fish. They create a special treat for fans of the music. They go on at 7 with support from the J.R. Adams Band at 5.30. Then on Saturday the 27th, Fruition plays the free summer concert show at Howlsonville. They'll have support from Mama Magnolia, who is also playing an after-party show at the press as soon as the Fruition show ends. That's what's going on here in Steamboat Springs. For Mountain TV, I'm Alan Lay.